hey guys welcome back to coding stuff and in this video we'll see how we can implement recycle view in kotlin so yeah i have created one empty project and i have added one layout which is each item and it's a simple layout so let me just walk you through it so it is an card view and i added a card corner radius to it of 20 dp and then the margin horizontal of 10 dp margin vertical of 16 dp and then the elevation of 4 dp and inside that i have added one constraint layout and inside the constraint layout i have an image view which uh, width is 120 dp and height is 100 dp and the scale type is fit xy and then i have one text view as you can see this one its size is 24 sp color black and style is bold and i had some drawables over here which are just on static images of some foods so yeah so to implement recycler view uh, we need three things so the first one is the layout that i have already created simple layout and then the data class which we used to call model class in java and then we need adapter class so let's just click on this package create new kotlin class and here we can select this data class we'll name this as a food and inside this class we'll have we'll have image which will be type of int because we'll be using drawables then well our name food name so this will be string and yeah that's it our, our data class is ready so now we'll uh, click on the package again we'll create a kotlin class which will be food adapter and inside this we'll pass in one list so let's just create one private val food list and this is the type of array list of food We'll be passing this list from the main activity later and then inside this we'll create inner class which will be food view holder and inside this we'll have item view of type view and this class let's just add and this class will inherit from the recycler view dot view holder and inside the constructor of this we need to pass this item view and here we'll find the ids of our widgets that we have in this each item so one is the image view and another is the text view so well image view it is a type of image view sorry and this will be equals to item view dot find view by id dot id dot image view then one for the text view so text view this is the type of text view item view dot find view by id r dot id dot text view so now we'll inherit this class from the recycler view dot adapter so recycler view dot adapter and we need to pass this food view holder class over here as a generics so now we'll press alt and alt enter to implement the three methods get item count on bind view holder and on create view holder so inside the on create view holder we need to we need to inflate the layout so i'll just create one val which is which will be view and this will be equals to layout inflator dot from parent dot context dot inflate r dot layout dot each item and then the second parameter should be parent and then attach to root false return food view holder class and we'll pass in the view so yeah that's it so in the get item count we need to specify the size so we'll just uh, return food list dot size here and then inside the on bind view holder what we need to do we'll create one val of type food this will be equals to food list 
coming from this position and yeah then we'll cl call our holder dot image view set image resource foot dot image and then holder dot text view uh, dot text equals to food dot name so yeah that's it that's it for the adapter class now we'll work on the main activity on the activity main so inside the activity main uh, we need one recycler view so let's just have it we'll constrain it horizontal in parent and vertical in parent as well let's give it width and height as a 0 dp so match constraints now we'll move to the main activity and at the top We'll have private late in it where recycler view recycler view private late in it where we'll create one list of type uh, food so food list or a list of type food then we'll create what one late in it where for our adapter so food adapter food adapter and then inside this uh, we can just find the ids of our widgets so recycler view equals to find view id or dot id dot let's just give it an id so this should be recycler view or recycler view then we can set some properties to our recycler view so it has fixed size and recycler view we need to specify the layout manager for this so we'll use a linear layout manager here and we need to pass this here as a context uh, then we will add some data into our food list so i have already added some data and commented out so let me just uncomment it so this is the static images that i have in my drawables so and in if inside the food first parameter is image means it's a drawable id and then the name so as you can see the first parameter is the drawable and then the another parameter is the name of that food okay so then uh, we can just initialize our food adapter equals to food adapter and here we need to pass the food list and before that uh, we need to initialize this food list as well so food list is equal to array list and this will be happy and then we can just set this adapter to our recycler view so recycler view dot adapter equals to food adapter so before installing an app uh, let's just move to the values and uh, inside the themes we'll change uh, the dark action bar to no action bar and now we'll try to run the app and we'll see it's working or not so the application is installed and as you can see our recycler view is working and we can just uh, copy paste and to add more data we can just copy them and paste them over here and we'll try to run the app again so yeah now it looks cool okay so now what we'll do so i just added this many items to show you that how our list will uh, how our recycler will look like if you have multiple items so let me just delete them and now what we want to do uh, whenever user clicks on this item we should navigate him to the to the new activity so let's just click on the package and new we'll create another activity and we'll select empty activity over here we'll just name it as a detailed activity hit enter and yeah We'll move to the activity detail we'll drag one image view over here and just select any image we'll constrain it horizontal in parent and top we'll make its width as 0 dp and we'll change its height to let's say 250 dp We'll change the scale type to fit xy so fit xy or we can make it center crop so yeah uh, let's just keep it as a fit xy 
this looks good to me and below this i will have one text view. so just have it one text view horizontal in parent and top to the bottom of the image view okay so let's just provide some margin from the top like 16 dp at least and we'll increase the text size to 24 sp text color text style to bold text color to black we can just keep it to the start and we can give some margin from the start 16 dp so yeah, this looks cool to me and let's just change this id to detailed activity tv for the text view and i'll just copy this this should be iv so yeah so whenever the user clicks on the any item of the recycler we'll just navigate him to the activity detailed and here will display that image selected items image and its text so for that or what we need to do let me just close all of this and we'll move to the adapter class so let me just open the food adapter class so in the on bind view holder what we'll do we'll write holder dot item view dot set on click listener and here we'll call one method let's just create it over here so i will write where on item click and here we'll pass in the food and then the arrow which will be unit and equals to null okay so we'll call this on item click dot invoke and here we need to pass the food so i'll just pass this food so we need to write the question mark over here so yeah it will not take the null value that's why this that's that is what this question mark means so now we'll move to the main activity and just after setting the adapter what we can do food adapter dot on item click as you can see here and after uh, user clicks on the item what we'll do we'll create one intent so while intent this will be equals to intent this detailed activity class dot java and with this intent we'll pass some data which will be type of put extra or let's just name it as provide a key as a food and this will be type of food as you can see we are getting it here but this is showing error because it is saying you know we need to pass the parsable or any other type of value with this put extra method so what we need to do we need to move to the food uh, dot kt and we need to just inherit from the parsable and then press alt enter here and then press alt enter here add parsable implementation add non null asserted call and yeah that's it so now we'll move to the main activity and as you can see the error is gone so this class is parsable now so we can just pass this from the one activity to another activity or from one fragment to another pack fragment so yeah now we'll just start this activity with the intent and yeah that's it now we'll move to the detailed activity and in here we have two views in the activity detailed the image view and the text view so private relate in it where text view we can just make it local variables as well so first of all what we'll do uh, we'll create one val food 
this will be equals to get intent intent uh, dot get extra get parsable extra this one and we'll pass in the uh, first we need to specify the generics generic type of this one and then we need to specify the key so food so if uh, food is not equals to null then we'll find our uh, text views id so text view text view just to find view id r dot id dot detailed activity text view this will be image view image view detailed activity iv so yeah if the food is not null then we'll just set it so the text view dot text this will be equals to food dot name and image view dot set image resource this will be equals to food dot image so yeah that's it now we'll try to run the app and we'll see it's working or not so the app is installed and let me just click on the first item which is pane butter masala so yeah as you can see it's working on click list now is working let me just click on this uh, noodles so noodles and yeah it's working so yeah that's it for this video do subscribe for android and kotlin more videos so yeah thank you for watching